Hello everyone, Alan Bubba with Adventure Vehicle Reviews. Today we're here with Chevrolet at the 2016 SEMA show. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what we got behind us, man. Yeah, well, real thanks for stopping by today. Great to have you guys here. So my name is Chris Colquitt. I'm the project manager for the Chevy Colorado ZH2. So what we're doing here is we are really pushing the envelope in terms of zero emission advanced electric drive propulsion technology in a hydrogen fuel cell and advanced capability in terms of a really capable four-wheel drive off-road vehicle in the Chevy Colorado. So we're taking those two really you know, compelling attributes, putting them together in one package, and we built this demonstrator vehicle that we're actually going to be putting in the hands of the U.S. Army for testing for nice. one year. Yeah. Excellent. So for, I'd like to talk about the, and we got some big meaty tires on it, Dude. right? And a suspension system. I heard someone talk about it has a front locker. Can you talk anything about the off-road components that are in this car? Well, here? actually, so I can tell you all about the performance capabilities of the off-road. We're actually not yet uh, disclosing some of the information. It's still an okay. under development uh, suspension and driveline system. Okay. So I'd say stay tuned on that one. Stay tuned on but that we're one. really excited about the capabilities in terms of 12-inch ground clearance, 48-degree approach angle wow. with an integrated winch, 39-degree wow. uh, departure angle. And so we think, you know, taking an electric motor and coupling that right to the transfer case, 236 foot-pounds of torque instantaneously available That's for drivers. We're, we're really excited about what electric drive can do for technical off-road uh, uh, driving capabilities. Well, and you gotta be, when you're, when you're dealing with off-road situations and you're going over rocks, sometimes you wanna have precise throttle applications, you know, to really make sure you don't go overdo it and come slamming down on a, on a skid plate or something like that. So you're out in the field and we got this fuel cell technology. How does that help the warfighter? So a couple of really compelling things about fuel cells that we think would be an advantage in a package like this. One, quiet operation. Two, low heat signature of the fuel cell. Wow. It, it operates at a much lower temperature That's than a combustion huge. engine. That's absolutely huge. So yeah, so, you, so we hope that, that people are, you know, be seen and, you know, it's harder to be seen in one of these vehicles, oh, yeah. just in, as the inherent nature of the fuel cell itself. Sure. Uh, a couple other really incredible benefits, we think two gallons of water produced per hour as our exhaust. So you're making nothing but water. So this is a zero emission vehicle, but it happens to be water is what your your byproduct of the chemical reaction yeah. is in the fuel cell. So you can imagine if you're out in a remote location, two gallons of water per hour production <laughs> is pretty compelling, right? Yes, yeah. And then, and then another benefit that we think is really important is exportable power. So we make DC high voltage power from the fuel cell to power the electric motors and all of the systems in the vehicle. We actually have the ability to export that uh, from a device in, that currently is located in the rear of the vehicle. That's 25 kilowatts of 240 volt power continuous, 50 kilowatts peak. Wow. So you can imagine anywhere you can bring this vehicle, you can power any equipment that you could carry with you. That's, and you know what? It may not be next year or the year after, but sometime in the not so distant future, civilians can have this type of technology. The, yeah, our intent is commercialization of the technology in wow. the 2020 timeframe. But what's really cool is in working with the U.S. Army, and TARDEC is a specific organization within the Army that we're working with to, to field test this vehicle, it's really a collaborative learning effort between GM and TARDEC. So it's really mutually beneficial that we're doing this project together. And we've actually been working with the Army for over a decade on uh, collaborative fuel cell research and development. So it's you know we we think about all of our our, our customers the, you know off road customers and what they'd be looking for and benefits of this technology. It's really a lot of overlap and we'll call it mission profile right. with with what the army's looking to evaluate. Exactly. So we learn together. This iterations of learning with this technology, so, we advance it together, and we think it's a win win for everyone. Absolutely, yeah. Chevrolet and the United States Army. That's that's a winning team right there. I think you know. So that's that's just amazing. This is a beautiful truck. It's right up. AVR's alley as far as what we'd like to do. I mean, someday in the future, we could get our hands on a truck like this, maybe in like 2030 or whenever it comes out, it'd be just amazing. There's so many types of applications that I can see people using this for, and not only in the military, but in, in the civilian market. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for taking your time with us today. Absolutely, it's been my pleasure, guys. Thanks for stopping by.